Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from MacTech Keyboards. I hope everyone having this wonderful Monday. I know, it's the beginning of the week, but it's the beginning of a new week. I try to be as positive as possible, but today I do have a treat. I've been wanting one of these for some time. I bought one, it was a mess, it didn't work, it was... But I finally got one. I got a good deal on it. This is from KP Republic. This is the Fecker Alice 80 with a knob. People that watch my videos might think that I actually lock keyboards with knobs. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> anyway, I've been wanting to open this up and get into it. It's probably not going to take too long of a build and then uh, figure out some keycaps, some switches, and do a stock sound test. And then later we'll come back and mod this puppy. But I think uh, from what I've seen so far, looks like it should be a good job out of the box. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's open her up and see what we got. Uh, the box took a little bit of beating up, but for the most part it arrived in one piece. All right. Now I have a couple of Fecker keyboards, and I like them. I'm, I mean, especially the IK seventy five. You can't beat that. Ooh, look at here! Look what I've got. I've got plenty of these, but I could take some more. I. I I do enjoy Fecker's Holy Panda. It's a great switch, although I do like Frank and switching it. But uh, it's funny, I've got plenty of them, but I'm not going to be using them on this board. Uh, just going to my, uh, looks like they'll just be going into my quiver. Alright, set this down. So, I was like, oh, what does that say? It says Fecker. That's a dust cover in the shape of it. That's one thing I do not have. I do have the materials to make my, myself one, but I, I do not have an Alice wrist rest. But I already have a built-in rest rest into my drawer that goes under my desk, but I'm gonna figure something out because I'm definitely gonna be test driving this puppy. So, before we take a look at the keyboard, I'm actually, I mean, it does come in a dust cover, but I'm just surprised it's a few keyboards that does not come with some uh, P-Foam. PE foam. All right, so we've got an individual um, switch puller, and it's actually pretty strong. Not going to bend very easily. We've got, hey, we've actually got a couple keys. I did not know that. I guess they're the Alice compatibility keys. And it looks like if they're just planks. Oh, that's an extra B and the two space bars. Huh. That is very nice of you, fucker. Thank you. I'm not going to be using them, but they're nice, thick. They look almost like a rounded OEM or maybe an SA, but the backwards instead of a convex is more of a contour. What else do we got? Got a keycap puller, and we've got a decent nylon. Thank you for not putting an aviator connector in here. This is, this to me is a USB cable. I love a little coil in there. And just a USB cable. There's no need for me to have a connector in the middle of it. I've never needed that. And you know what? They're called aviator connectors because that's what aviators use to connect their headphones when they go into fly because they get big into some turbulence. You know, they don't want their headphones just popping out. Uh, I just think it's a little too much overkill for keyboard cables. I don't know. Shh. People might not like my opinion. Let's take a look at what we have out of the box. It looks like a PC plate. I don't think it's POM. Odd. So there's a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And in the back we have an on and off Type-C cable and Mac or Windows mode. So, like that in Windows mode. 
turn it on. Does it do anything if we turn it on? Just turn it off for now. We'll plug that in a minute. All right, so yeah, that does. It feels like a PC plate. I could be wrong, but it does feel like PC. Oh, that's different. And it's nice and shiny, and it's actually kind of slippery, but it still has that nice click for each um, notch. And it seems to come off quite easy. And so not for nothing, this um, connector will work with a lot of uh, knobs, but there's gonna be some D-shaped knobs that worked on other ones that didn't work on this one, because this is a completely round one. I don't know where my knobs are at the moment. Yes, I have a bag of knobs. Make all your jokes. Anyway, um, to show you the difference, but see, this is round. This is round. So these are gonna accept the knobs that have, that they're basically completely round with the star configuration. So go ahead and put you back in. Has a nice satisfying click. Now we do have two sets of feet. So we have up to three typing angles. All right. This is 27.2. I'd say roughly 27 millimeters from the bottom to the top of the chin. That's a little tall. It's gonna be one of those keyboards that I'm gonna recommend using a wrist rest that's properly shaped because it's it's a pretty deep angle. So, I mean, even if you have it low, it's still gonna be high up front. It does appear that they're lightly lubricated, but not globs. Ooh. It almost feels like a pen, a palm a stem, sorry, the material. And the stabilizer has very little wobble. I mean, a tiny amount, but it's me applying pressure. For the most part, they're on there pretty good. So I do look forward to opening her up and taking a look inside and Hmm. I guess I'll have to look at videos. I don't. Does not look like it's pressure mat. So, hmm. We'll have to see. For this build, because like I said, I've been wanting to get this board, and I want to use it, and I want to see, because it has everything I need, and um, I have a known pad. I don't know. I for many years used the Mac or the Microsoft natural keyboard and I loved it and my productivity and my word per minute had definitely improved I mean at least like 25% um, this was years ago obviously but um, I'm very curious to see uh, uh, how it'll be working so like I said for this build I've been planning a whole bunch of builds and eventually I get to them, whatever. But I have some NK Silk Olivia. And I have an Olivia set that actually has all the keys for Alice. It is a uh, cherry profile. I do believe they're double shots. I'll take this one real, quick, real quick. I don't recall the brand. I do apologize. But they do have the two Bs. Yes, they are double shot. Um, like I said, I'd have to look up the brand. I'll try to look up the brand and put it. Yes, they were purchased from Alley uh, and from a verified store. I don't hate AliExpress, but AliExpress requires very little for vendors to become vendors on their platform. That's why sometimes we'll search for a keyboard and find it for like a tenth of the cost. They don't get anything because there's not a lot of vetting of the shops. Shops that have a 90% positivity rating or higher and have been in business for some time, not just a month or two, are more than likely to provide the product you want. But always shot with caution that's all I can say anyway so this is not the top oh let's go to the next not that I can use it on this so 
how it is in this. And we've got the space bars and we've got the bees. And let's get going, huh? Load her up and see what she sounds like. Let's do it. Right, we got these NK Silk Olivia loaded up. But before I put the keycaps, I wanted to take a look at the RGB. Huh? Well, oh, that's fun. No, nice. Oh, it's in Bluetooth mode. I think I recall while flipping through this, there's a key combination to even get into wired, even if it is on off. And it is. Function N. Function N. Yep, there we go. Alright, cool. Eee! Pretty, pretty colors! Alright, uh, not gonna mess around too much with this, but it would be nice to find. Alright. Backlight color changes function. Let's go with the pink. Do we have a pink? That's yeah, kind of purple pink. That's white, but it's pink because of the stick of the red. And they said delete for backlight no change. Ooh, that's pink. Oh, but it's changing. Oh, this is function. That's solid. So I just wanted to take a look at the RGBs. They're actually really nice. They're bright. And for those who are concerned, it's South Face. You're not gonna have any interference issue, although that's basically a thing of the past. Switch manufacturers are adopting. And um, I know I, I prototype one in particular. No issue with the thickest of caps, double shot caps. No interference on North Face LED. So. One thing that I, I just feel that I have to repeat. If you're getting into this hobby and one of the big things you want is keycaps that shine through so you can see the light through the legends, you need to get north facing LED keyboards. If you still want south forward, south facing boards and want that shine through, you need to get front side keycaps. But that's not for here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it, and let's go ahead and load up the keys, and then we'll have the fun. Here we are, my Alice Olivia. Just from the little bit I'm doing right now, I foresee a very nice sound test. Maybe not the best that this keyboard can deliver, but pretty damn good out of the box. So uh, let's plug her in and see what she looks like. All right, cool, so it remembered. All right, and we have that pink. It's a nice um, backlight. It, it does a good job of diffusing with that PC plate. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, I mean, this has some flux out of the box. It, um, it's up there with probably the top three flexiest keyboard I've received and probably pushing number one. So anyway, you know, the, did a quick er overview. I am going to come back to it, open her up, see if we can make some differences and improve the sound. But for right now, we're going to be doing a stock, or uh, bare bones sound test with stock 
and K. Olivia Silks. Um, these are linear. I believe they're 45 or 50 gram. I believe, um, and they come pre-looped. Um, they're not the best. They're not the worst. But I was looking for color. So, and we're doing with this PBT double shot cherry set that has the keys. Oh, surprise! It didn't have a pink escape key, but these are the colors I chose and it's got the two B's so um, yeah let's get on with it until the next transmission keep calm keyboard on